How's it going, everyone? My name is Tarek, and welcome to tonight's stream uh, where we carry on the song that we've been working on for April. Um, last time we stopped, I think we were trying to finish the verse. I've actually, I've actually managed to work on it uh, a little bit off camera as well, um, and just to kind of like make a little bit more progress, just because we were. Uh, uh you know finding that there's a lot of parts needs to be done and i was like you know just to get some progress i'll do some stuff off camera as well uh so i'm gonna play the track and show you where we are and hopefully today we can do a bunch uh, of progress because of uh, i have here on my notepad some some of the stuff that i want to add uh and i've kind of like segmented them section by section so let's hit play and see where we stopped last time. Actually, no, let's hit play and see what I've added so far. I'm just gonna mute this woodwinds because I haven't finished writing it. Uh, but yeah, let's see where we are. <laughs> so forth uh so forth and uh at the end here i've also kind of jammed an idea for a breakdown so this is just kind of like me jamming some ideas for a breakdown i think i know the foundation of the break breakdown how's it gonna be um but um we will construct it as we go um let me just show you some of the stuff that we've put hey elevium t ttv how's it going I hope all is good. Um, uh, how's your week? Uh, I hope uh, it went smoothly. Um, so this is some of the stuff that I've added off camera. So first, um, I'm not going to go through them like in order because I'm just going to remember them as I go. But one thing is uh, the harps here in this section. <laughs> Which in solo, they're like this. Good, I just finished the album I was working on and I'm getting a friend to make a uh, album cover. So, oh, that's good. That's really, really good. I am actually has been, uh, have been using a little bit of AI <laughs> to make my album covers. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, how, how are you feeling about the album? Um, right, so this was the harp segment, which still needs some work. Uh, also for the piano, uh, I've just kind of like, uh, let me see if I've ended up panning them. Cause one of the things I was trying to do is to see if I can pan them to create like a vocal. Uh, yeah, it seems like I retreated from that because when you pan a piano or especially like these samples, something gets lost. Uh, so, uh, the piano is normally or in these samples at least it's it's in a stereo field so when you pan it you will lose some you know some notes or uh you you will get more room on one side so i've just kept it mono i will try to see if i can like during the mix add like a like a stereo widener or harmonic or something like that just to give that vocal effect because it's doing the main melody 
pretty good. Do songs from the album I really like. The others are pretty okay. Uh, but it's pretty good considering my first album. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's that's really good. Good achievement, man. Um, that must be very very excited for you. Um, very exciting for you. Are you are you trying? To, uh, are you planning to you know put it on uh, streaming platforms and things like that? Um, also, I've got a guy on Fiverr who does my um what do you call it like visualizer videos and things like that and he's pretty pretty good so if you go to youtube and you check like my um you know my release videos if you like the visualize visualization let me know i can uh, hook you up with them but don't don't look at the very final release the green one that one i haven't uh, done it with him yet maybe next month but uh, look at the other ones like Guilty Gear or uh, Starry Night, these ones are his work, and I think uh, I think it's pretty good actually. If you if you need something like that, and the cool thing is if you have a if uh, if you're using DistroKid and you have like an official YouTube channel, even if you upload, even when DistroKid publishes your song on YouTube automatically, and then you upload uh, you upload your video, YouTube actually merges the two right so it's a very good thing hey dingleberry how's it going man long time no see how are you have how's how, how's your week been maybe i'll upload to youtube tonight but if people like it i'll get it up uh when i get access to any of the distributor yeah yeah so so just uh, i use distro kid it's the best one and um and uh and they they actually you know uh send it everywhere uh busy man busy how are you bro so, yeah it's fine it's fine it's, uh, it's good uh my other uh, work is being picking up actually my day job and uh, on top of that uh i've got some like exciting project i'm working i'm working on which is very very cool um and you know when when it's when it launches uh i'll share it with you guys but it's something i'm really excited about um but yeah it's been it's been a decent week actually it's been chill it's been chill yeah um but if you're busy that's good i mean that's a that's a good problem to have isn't it <laughs> um but yeah so so yeah the harps is something i've added and uh, as you can see at the end here i haven't finished writing it because this this uh, pedal effect here with the guitar i want to make room for it so I'm just going to play around with it here just to kind of uh, make it accentuate that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't share anything around, but it's just uh, basically just a summary of it. Uh, it's kind of a, like a, like a, mu a physical music product, right, that I'm working on launching. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, I think the designs are cool. I think the concept is good. Um, but yeah, whenever whenever I can, I'll I'll let you know. I know that this is the cheapest one, uh, so I'll probably choose it when I can. Yeah, I think it's the cheapest one, most reliable one. I actually used before TuneCore, that was my one, but then I've moved to DistroKid because it's way more, uh, you know, agile, it's faster, it's more professional, I think, and I think even the the CEO of TuneCore. The founder left uh, TuneCore and now is working with DistroKid. Um, on top of that, I had an issue with uh, one of my releases recently, the second to last release. And uh, I literally just messaged them on Twitter. I was like, hey, this is the number of the, you know, this is the serial number of my song on Discord. I'm having this issue, ta 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 ta, right? And literally within, I think, 48 hours, they replied to me on Twitter. They were like, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's uploaded. Just check it in 24 hours. And it was uploaded so yeah it's pretty cool and they get you like verified on spotify they get you verified on youtube um yeah i'm not endorsed by distrokid by the way but uh yeah, just just a serious recommendation really um so yeah harps are like this So this part here, I want to change when we get to it. Uh, also, 
so the piano is layered three times, but I think there was one time where I actually shifted each one to a different range. I think I didn't save that because they're all on the same range. So we'll do that as well now. Um, what else I've added? Sounds cool to consider. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I've also added uh, uh, in uh, verse 1.5, I've added some brass. Uh, it's not fully written, but this is how it sounds. Yeah, uh, it obviously needs some modulation correction. Um, what else? I've added some strings as well. So let's just, let me show you. Right now, again, there are some stuff that needs to be, uh, you know, adjusted because I was just kind of testing the vibe of it. Sometimes when I when I write other em uh, elements that that is complementing the band, I like to kind of like test the vibe and then maybe zoom in and like do articulations and things like that. And then I've added some choir again. I've just added just the vibe. I haven't d done the right uh, uh, syllables, uh, but altogether, this is how kind of the vibe is gonna sound like. Right now here at the end obviously everything is gonna do the the you know final bit um yeah and it needs it needs like uh, cutting here and there also i was trying to test uh, a piano roll uh, in the middle of the chorus which sounds like this right so i'm not sure if you've heard it right so th all of these kind of like elements just uh, you don't want any one of them to stick out. You just want them all to work together. So, right. And just before the stream starts, uh, I was trying to see if I can do some kind of like counter melody with the trombone here. Um, right. Like this. Right, but obviously because only the trombone is playing it now. Uh, if we layer it with other instruments, uh, we can probably get an effect. Also, when, when this is rendered to audio, I might like automate some, like maybe I will increase the volume of the trombone here, just so that motif gets heard. Um, but yeah, I've uh, and just literally just before the stream starts, I've added uh, woodwinds here. But literally, I haven't played with it. I just copied the trombone and then I started the stream. So I haven't li literally touched any of this. Um, one more thing as well with the melody, I've added uh, a piano to play the same melody just to give it um, a little bit more. You know, crystal feel kind of that that vibe that I'm aiming uh, for for this song is very like imperial, very, very kind of again Final Fantasy fifteen type of thing. So I think actually here it's worth it for the piano to do what the uh, what the trombone is doing as well. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> I'm glad you like it, man. But obviously it's still work in progress. It's uh, I'm not gonna lie, this track is taking a little bit out of me because of the idea that I'm trying to make it sound like uh, uh, 
Okay, I don't want to say I'm trying to make it sound like Final, F- Final Fantasy 15 track because if you put it with the Final Fantasy 15 OST, it wouldn't fit. But I'm trying to kind of like get inspired a lot by by that game in particular, and by like other things. But uh, yeah, um, and because of that, uh, there's a lot of decisions that I'm trying to kind of you know put in or trying to get influenced, uh, uh, and 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 think outside the box and see what I can come up with. But uh, yeah, so what we can do first is I run, I really want to uh, like kind of finalize this area here, like verse 1.5 and the transition. And then maybe we can then go back to the chorus and kind of like, you know, test different counter melodies. Um, and then verse 1, I'm thinking to make it a little bit less orchestral and it builds up so maybe at the beginning it's just violin or maybe nothing and then the second chord violin and then the third chord you'll get brass and then slowly slowly we'll transition to verse 1.5 maybe but i'm gonna leave this verse one here because um i think i'll get a clearer picture of what i want to do with it after i do what's before it and what's after it so let's jump here and Let's first of all deal with this break here. Um, so I'm going to delete all of these guys. I'm going to merge this. And this. Here. Okay. And so basically this gap here. It's gonna play with like the same rhythm. Like they're every uh, most of the instruments are gonna play the same thing as, right? Um, and for that, actually, also, so also at this section here, right? I want everything also to play with the uh, with this uh, pedal effect, right? So the snare is doing it. I'm pretty sure the bass is doing it as well. Yeah, even these staccato uh, strings are doing it, right? Uh, the violin longs are not. So what we can do here is I can either add another like cello or like a double bass uh, or I can make these longs just turn staccato or make them just stop here. So, for example, the piano. I can either make it not play these, these three notes. Or I can just keep the piano doing it like as if it's the only thing that's doing the melody. And even the harps here, I can make them do the... Uh, uh, you know, the the tremolo type of thing. Like what what are the harps doing here? Yeah, I can if I move this here and let me just see what chord is this. Thank you. 
and then this segment here. Da -da 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 type of thing. And then maybe we can make the harps do the same run as this violin here. Actually here, all of this section, they need actually to play staccato B. Um, right, so let me just take this. Actually, let me take all of this. And uh, it's right from here. Go to the harps. Oh, I'm wrong one. Or I can do like a f uh, kind of a like a few like kind of a both of the both parts at the same time. So let me show you what I mean. So if I put wait up until this section here. Okay, cool. So I click on this again. Right. So up until here. So maybe all of this will delete, right? And if we paste, and this as well. Yeah, something like that. Then we just, th so this is the French harp. Now what we got to do is just put it at the Italian harp. And then together.
Do I play C here or? Ah, okay. I play D. All right. So that's the case. I thought that what I'm doing there is like open note on the drop B, but I'm not actually. I'm just doing what uh, that chord progression was meant to do. Okay, so this means that the entire everything here needs to do a D, like even the guitars here. So, let me just take this. Yeah, 25 is palm mute. Um, and then copy, paste. And then also we need a third. So third is it can do a power chord. Let's check. No, it's actually an A. Which is outside the <laughs> outside the scale so let me just uh, turn off the scale assistant for a second I mean, I can do it as if it was playing on one note. But I know that in real life when I record it, I'm going to do a power chord. So... Uh, now I know why it's sounding like this because I've got an oc octave or pedal, octave pedal. Right, same thing with the bass.
The choir is going to be doing, obviously, staccato phrase, phrases here. Um, let me just see something. Okay, I was just listening to the Noctis Apocalypse track just to see what I can do uh, with the brass. I can add shorts as well. Okay, there's something, there's something interesting here. Seems like when I wrote it, for this, for the high strings, I put D, but for everything else, I've put B, which is strange. This is D, let's try B now. I think we need to try from the beginning of the verse just to see how it transitions to it.
I think for now B is good. I think this was on... And what about these guys? I think these guys, we need to put them on B as well. This um, short trombone is very quiet. Alright, let's see if we can fix the choir actually. Alright, so both of them are playing from the same MIDI track. I just need to fix the syllables. And then we'll fix the modulation.
think I want to remove this cord thing. Yes, that that D was uh, yeah, it wasn't needed. All right, now we need to work on the syllables. So, I believe these are the articulations for them. I think for me to find out the articulation, I need to listen to the entire thing. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I mean, this here definitely needs some automation um, and a lot of compression because 
Let's try velocity. Yeah, much better. Um, all right, let me just uh, listen to the reference track for a sec. I just want to see what articulations I have with this one. Uh, what's this? Trumpets.
Thank you. 
All right, we need to work a little bit on the brass more, but in the meantime, let me just uh, put these pianos on different octaves. Just the leads, not the chords. Jesus Christ, this this is a very little dip here. But maybe when you zoom in, it's making it's making a quite big difference in in modulation. Just this tiny dip.
Um, I think I want also like a crescendo articulation, but uh, Audio Imperia do doesn't have any, I don't think, from what I've seen. So let's connect this to, uh, first let's enable this. And for and second, let's put it to brass. Let's solo the brass folder. I just want to see. I'm pretty sure Metropolis has a crescendo. One second. Um, swell, crescendo long, crescendo short. Let me go to multi. Uh, trombones. It's gonna take a minute. All right, let me just see the sound of this. Metropolis Arc is actually fucking decent. Last track I've used it more than uh, Audio Imperial when it came to uh, Braz. Only has staccato, doesn't have staccatissimo. Let's see the trumpets. Okay, I'm thinking of maybe adding, adding like uh, three MIDI tracks here. Not sure if we have anything left, let me see. Oh, we still have actually till 16. Just for like swells and crescendos and stuff with Metropolis. Because 
it definitely has stuff that you know audio imperia doesn't have so i might actually do that and just purge it Let me just see something one second. All right. Um All right, let's try to do it with Audio Imperia, like manually, like this. In solo, the previous modulation works, but in during the track, I think this works better.
All right, let's see if we can uh, do anything with the double bays here. Um, what else we can do? Okay, let's leave this uh, part a little bit for now. Let's just kind of like jump to this. I know here I want to add like a, a bell type of thing, so... Contact, let me add another contact here. I put this in percussion, although it's not percussion. Should I put it in other instruments? Yeah. Okay. Right, so this one I actually need to load. Uh, from my files.
See how it sounds all together. I just adjusted some volumes. going on here. Okay. So sometimes I think if you control shift down to copy, then whatever adjustment you make on the on any of them, uh it will carry on to everything you copied. So the proper way to copy it is just Control paste. I think now if I do this, yeah, it will only change with one. All right, so I want it signed to be on the third octave and then gentleman to be up higher. <laughs>
can make the woodwinds actually work really well with the brass and with some counter melodies as well. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to save. Uh, let's take a little bit of a break. And then we'll come back. Actually, it's about to be 11 o'clock here, so... Oh, I can't. I actually didn't feel the time. We've already streamed for around two hours. Let's maybe carry on to two hours and then we'll wrap it up today, if that's the case. Um, okay, what can we do in that the last two, uh, 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, let's try this. I want to. I wanted to try uh, for the. For the chorus, I want to try that the cello does staccato with the rhythm guitar. So if I copy this and put, uh, I know it says cello long, but it doesn't matter. So if I do this and I get the logical editor. Obviously, we can like play with the uh, the articulation in a minute. I just want to see the vibe. Um, and just How's it going man the artist known asm how's it going thank you uh so much for joining we're actually uh, about to wrap up in like 15 minutes but thank you for joining regardless uh where are you chatting from that is it seems like from your username you do some music as well
There's another way to do this. Which is... I max the ones that I want uh, to be accentuated, and then we'll drop the entire velocity down. Like, for example. Like this here.
Okay, guys, we've done almost two hours. Normally, I, obviously, I do three hours, but today, because we streamed late, uh, we started at 9 uh, UK instead of 8 UK. I think um, we'll stop here for now. Uh, next stream is as uh, scheduled on Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. UK. Um, if I can do earlier, I will, I will try. But uh, I will put up the uh, YouTube scheduler um, on Sunday, and then you can find out if I'm going to start 6 or 7. Um, on Twitch, I'm not going to change the schedule. Uh, it always says 7. So make sure you've got, if you're on Twitch, make sure you've got the bell icon so you know if I um, did it earlier. Same on kick. Same on kick. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I think we've done a little bit of progress. You know, we're still, I'm still, I, I, I've already written the structure for the song, as you can see, you know, where is it? Uh, here it is, right? So chorus, verse one, verse 1.5, chorus, verse two, verse 2.5, and then build up, uh, breakdown. Then we do a chorus, only the orchestra type of like a break. And then the final chorus. Uh, so three choruses really, just like it's uh, pretty standard. And then I don't know if I'm gonna like literally stop the song, like end the song with the last note of the chorus, or we're gonna do like a very last intro at the end. I don't know. So the structure is there, and uh, it's gonna be a matter of copy pasting, except for the for the breakdown. But it's gonna be a matter of copy pasting some stuff. Um. As long as I am satisfied of the orchestration and all of that, all of that thing. Now, between today and the next stream, I'm gonna think about if we can just kind of like accept that this is kind of like a, a foundation, and then you know, uh, try to write the breakdown and the final chorus and all of that stuff. And then, so that will give me the chance to record the guitars. So I'm done with that. And then we'll go back to orchestration. But I think this might be a little bit messy to do it this way. Normally, uh, I actually record the guitars really early in the track. Because normally, like, the foundation of the track is there. So normally, I only, like, orchestrate the... Uh, maybe the chorus or something or whatever. And, like, it's a different workflow... A slightly different workflow than with this track with this track it seems like the way my mind is forcing me to work on this is to finish all of the like core elements when it comes to you know not just orchestration like everything in general like melodically basically um and then i would feel like kind of safe to record the guitars and then if there is any other you know production elements like impacts and things like that and uh you know other like synths or sounds or pads or you know other like production uh you know just stuff to add production value we can do it after guitars are recorded but anything melodic you know uh, and adds to the vibe of the song and to the transitions and to the actual arrangement uh, it seems like my mind is forcing me to to do that first. But anyway, this is an April song, so we still have like 18 days left. So hopefully um, we can, you know, proceed. And I will carry on doing stuff off camera as well, just to kind of speed up the process, because I really want to finish this by April. Um, but every time I work on it, I feel like we're getting there. Um, yeah, so that's that. But... Thank you so much for joining today, you know, like have a good night and make sure to, you know, uh, sync with us on Sunday, 7 p.m. UK. Uh, and if there is any adjustment I've done from now till then, which I don't think so, because I'm going to, I'm driving to London tomorrow, most likely. Uh, but if there is anything that I've done, I will review it at the beginning of next stream. I'll be like, this is the stuff that I've done uh, between... Uh, streams 